Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I just want to do a quick update on the Quonson UV-R50. Here it is on the Amazon store. I've got it in my Amazon store, of which the link to my store is down below each of the videos. And I discovered that the programming software is more extensive than... I was led to believe, and I'm going to show you that real quickly, hopefully. Here it is right here. Here is the programming software. And so my first glance, and this is where it comes up initially to this spreadsheet, is that this is where you put in uh, the information for each channel. And I can load a file that's got a few entries. Let's see. Open. Hopefully it'll find where I put it. Oh boy, I don't see the name of it. Uh, should be dat files. I'm not sure why it's not showing factory out. Yeah, this is why I call it factory. This is what um, <clears throat> what's in the radio when, you, when, I, when I first got it. And it shows you, you know, you can select the band. I don't understand what this is, why it says VHF slash UHF. Maybe that's how it displays it on the first line and second line you can reverse that if you want to the receive frequency transmit frequency whether you have a DEC uh, CTC or not usually you don't whether you have a code CTC slash DCS many times you do so you have to fill in that number whether you want to uh, to transmit on high power or low power uh, the bandwidth whether you want it to be in the scan when you do a scan, whether you want it to do a busy lock, I'm not sure what that is, and if there's a signal code for that particular repeater and then a name you could give that particular frequency. Now, what I overlooked is under program, nope, that's not it, under edit, available functions. Now, this is, where I made a mistake in my initial hangout when someone suggested that the software for these radios are, is not as extensive as the software, the Chirp software for the Bofang radios because it doesn't let you change features. Well, it does. Right here, here's all the features I believe uh, we were talking about. Let me see if I can get this to go full screen. There we go, full screen. So here you can change the timeout timers, the Vox, uh, all kinds of things, squelch level, all kinds of stuff, which you can do on the Bofang and the Chirp software. So all this stuff is here. You can change uh, the backlighting, different colors, um, some other stuff. I don't even know what it is. You can change the um, a frequency mode and B frequency mode and that's the initial mode so it's all there I so I think everything that you have in the Bofang chirp software is in this software I just didn't take the time to go look at all these menu items so my mistake I wanted to correct that as soon as possible so I'm doing this short video Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.